Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we get out into the real world to explore the mind-body lifestyle. So today, I'm going to show you a little bit about how I help to cleanse myself of energy vampires. We all run into them, whether they're at the studio, they're in our family, they're in our friend circle, or just people that we have to work with. We all encounter people with bad days, and they seem, sometimes it seems contagious, like one person's bad day can leak into everybody else's. So again, here I am talking a little bit about ritual to help cleanse your body and mind. Now. You know, some people believe that in all different types of sage that there are different medicinal properties that help to clear the air. But also, if you're more of a rational thinker, um, just think of it as you're setting just a few moments to cut ties and really think about, I'm not gonna let this person ruin my day. I'm gonna really go inside and try to find what is meaningful to me for the rest of my day so that I'm not pulled down by somebody else's energy. So. Different types of sage have different properties. There's white sage, which is in this bag, a lot of times that you can get at your health food store. Um, you can also get um, bundles of sage. You can break it off or burn the whole thing if you really have to do a big smudge. But what I do is I had this uh, shell from forever ago from Mexico, and I just put a few pieces of sage, light it like incense, and then you blow it out so the smoke goes up into the air. Some people, especially in the tradition Native American cultures, will actually wash their different energy centers with it, or you can just have it nicely embering and all the smoke go into the air. But it's a good time to just kind of cut ties with people that are draining on you, or even thought processes that feel like are draining on you so that you can go into your day refreshed and feel like you can have a nice clean start without anybody else's stuff. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.